In this video, we will learn how we can create a chart. Let's start with this first table here, which has the sales information by each book type. If I would like to create a chart from this data, I can going to first click in anywhere in this little table here. And now I have B7 as my active cell. And now in order to create a chart, I can go to insert ribbon and I will choose from one of these chart types. As you can see here, there are different chart types available. And when you click on any of them, you'll see more chart types under each category. This, since this is a simple chart that we want to start with, we're going to use 2D column. And instantly Excel creates this chart for me. And one thing you notice is that I can actually move this chart very easily and also this chart is floating above the grid of cells. So that's something you need to understand. Excel has the charts in a different layer, so it can actually be floating around over the cells in our grid. So let's just put it here so that we can see the chart and the cells. Since when our cell was here, active cell was B7, when we, when we asked Excel to insert the chart, then what happened was Excel was detecting that this is the data that we want to use for chart. And so it automatically created the chart based on this information. And you can see here that when I select this chart, you can see here the colored cells here, the border around these cells, indicating that this is the data that's used in creating this chart. Looking at the chart here, you can see that the horizontal axis has the book type information. And then for each book type, we have a bar that indicates the sales that that book type had. And on the vertical axis, you have the scale that you can use to refer to find out what is the actual magnitude of this bar. For example, this specific thing, sales for the hardcover book type, is close to about 14 lakh rupees. And also from this chart, it's very clear and very visible that the hardcover book type is the highest in terms of sales and ebook lags behind by a lot. Now let's try to understand how Excel is creating this chart. I'm going to right click on top of this chart and then I'm going to do select data. And this will open up this specific dialog box and you can see here that the data that is used for this chart is shown here and it's also highlighted with the dancing ants here and this is the data that's used for this chart the horizontal axis labels are shown here and that's what's showing up on the chart here in the horizontal axis and since we have three book types and there are three book types they are shown here and they were applied here. You can click the edit button and then it will ask you to choose the labels that you would like to use. And this is what's currently being used. And I'm going to leave it there, but you can edit them if you would like. If you would like to change the horizontal axis labels, you can do that too. And on the left side, you see the series and here we have one series, which is the sales. And let's click edit to see what it is. So the series has a name and a set of values. The name here is chosen to be sales because that's the label or the heading that we gave to this, to this set of numbers. So Excel automatically detects the header and says, this is the series name. And the series values are actually chosen to be these three values and we can change it to any three values if we would like and i'm i don't want to change it now so i'm going to hit cancel so if we edit these category labels or if we edit the series instantly the chart will be updated because the chart is linked to this data source and then when you're changing it here charts get updated quickly and finally, the switch row column button, and this can help us to create different views of the charts. So let me click this. And what happens here is that you will see that the 
horizontal, the category x-axis labels now will move into the series and then the series become the labels. So it's just switching the rows and columns. And now you have a different view of the chart here where sales is the category. And in that category, we have three series, one for each book type. And then we have the value shown here in different colors. Now, if I would like to switch back to the original, then I click switch row column again, and then now you'll see that it actually updates to the original version. And so I'm gonna click okay now so that we go back to the chart. And if your data source range is very simple, like here, few rows, few columns, they are right next to each other. They, you can be, You can select them very quickly like this then this is the best method of creating charts. Select the data and then insert column, choose a column, choose a chart type, and then Excel will instantly create the chart for you. Now, now let's say that the data you would like to use for creating charts is embedded within a larger set of data. For example, let's say I want to just choose the month and the sales, but it's hidden in this set of columns here. And so let's say I have my active cell here and I choose insert columns. And now you have a lot of information here, but I only needed only sales to be displayed. So I can go ahead and edit this and then go into select data and remove the series that I don't need because I only need sales, let's say. However, there is another way of doing this. I'm gonna delete this chart now because we're gonna create a new one. So I can click on this chart and then click delete key and it'll remove the chart. And now I am going to select this set of cells and I'm going to, no, let's just do it on um, the book name column here. So I'm gonna select the book name and then I'm gonna choose the quantity because I don't need the sales thing to be created. I only want the quantity to be charted against the book name. So I've selected these two set of cells and then I go and hit insert column. And now I have a chart which actually has the book name and the quantity is shown in the vertical axis. So this is another method of creating a chart. You tell Excel that I want this and this to be in my chart and Excel can create it or you just click in in, in an embedded data set anywhere and then you let Excel create a chart with all the data that it can find. There is also a third method of creating charts which is more manual. In your case, if your data is spread throughout the worksheet and workbook, so you can't really get them all together lined up nicely, then you could use insert, insert a column. And since you didn't select any data, Excel is actually giving you a blank thing to play with. And here you can go right click, select data, and you have a nothing in this now, but you can go ahead and choose the data that you want to use. And let's say in this case, I wanna use this and I hit enter. And now Excel used this as the data source and created the chart information. And now you can see this chart. So. You started with a blank chart here, and then you were able to create this chart by selecting the data source. You can also select one by one series and then the x-axis labels and create the charts that way too. So these are the different methods. I'm gonna click delete here because I don't need that chart. So these are the three different methods commonly used to create charts.